Hello, and welcome to Dice Friends. We're going to be playing uh, some Vampire 5th Edition. Welcome to Episode 3 of Not A Drop To Drink, A Tale of Vancouver Island by Night. This content, and all of the content at Loaded Ready Run, that you enjoy, is brought to you by you, through support of our Patreon. Patreon.com backslash Loading Ready Run. Forward slash. Fuck! Just slash. Just slash. Just slash. I know. Yeah. I just like to complicate things. That was going so well, too. I, it was very, I, very good. It was. Mm -hmm. I think we should just uh, keep this. All right. Well, yeah. let's yeah. go for it. Go for it. Well, good. Excellent. Yep. Because as soon as I had the corner of my eye, I saw you shaking your head, and I was like, what'd I do? Oh, fuck. Ah. <sighs> anyway. Hi, I'm Jacob Burgess. I've done this intro a bunch. And apparently uh, can't tell the difference between a slash and a backslash. So it's definitely loading ready run. No, it's not. It's patreon.com slash slash slash. Like the one dude in Only that one, one band. Slash. What's that? Only one slash. Oh, it's one slash. You said it three times. I did, didn't I? Yeah. Patreon.com slash one slash loading ready run. Thank you very, very much for your support. Uh, of this highly professional chronicle run by this highly professional man. You can listen to this highly professional podcast if you're listening to this in podcast form. Wherever it is, your podcasts are served highly professionally. I think that went well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now let's meet our players and their characters. Beginning with Corey. Hello, I'm Coriander Dickinson. I'm playing Jordan Hinkleman, the Bruja professional. Uh, we are at my house. We have a new friend. I'm very excited to see what is in store today. And who would you like to go next? Hi, my name is Adam. I'm playing Oliver Tyndall, former substitute teacher turned vampire, perpetually confused. And now where he's pretty sure that we're going to have to kill somebody. So that's new, I guess. <laughs> I'm going to have to watch somebody die. Then uh, I'm going to have to get used to that, right? So I don't know. Should be interesting. Hey, my name's Heather Deary. I'm playing Jessica Chadwick. Who knows how many phones I have anymore? I do. The rest of you might not. Uh, and all of your clans? Oh, yes. Uh, Toriador. Mm. I'm a Kaitif. Kaitif. Yes. Sorry. Clanless. Yeah. Hi, my name is Cameron Lauder, and I am playing Silas Reed, our resident Tremere warlock, who is a very good boy and is just trying to get through the day so he can get through the night. And, uh, yeah, don't, don't, don't worry yourself, Adam. Mm hmm. He's already dead. Uh, <laughs> I guess that's true, all right? He's already, we can't kill him. How do you kill that which is already dead? We'll find out. You cut its head off. Yeah. yeah. That's wild. Oh, I mean, that's an option. I can't believe staking doesn't work. Oh, it 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 works. It sends you into torpor. Yeah, torpor. torpor. It's like a coma. Don't worry. Yeah. yeah, that's terrifying. Just don't let it happen to you. Does maybe. the coma last until the stake is removed? Yep. yep. That's messed up. Some people are still aware. <laughs> wow, that's like when you go to the dentist and it doesn't work. You wake up like. Oh, please don't put that nightmare in my brain. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. <laughs> but I mean, like, that's the vampire equivalent, right? Like, yeah, mm -hmm. I went and got staked and I just, I was awake the whole time. Yeah. Like, oh my God. It's a really nice thing. way to just stash someone inconvenient in yeah. a little corner somewhere while you sleep. Mm. And speaking of inconvenient, what happened last session? Quick, quick little recap. Uh, well, we found a thin blood yep. who was going around eating people. Mm. And then we captured them. And, well, we didn't capture them, but they kind of fell into our van. <laughs> and they, they were like attached to the mouth. Yeah, the they were attached really? to the deer that yeah. I had summoned. Um, and then we tried to get some information out of them, but they weren't answering anything. And then we called Quinn, and Quinn told us. Uh, that we are now working for him. Because I forgot that I had bills to pay. He offered us a job. Well, did he though? Well, you know, we just were really offer us a job. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I know a veiled threat when I hear one, you know? Look, there's a lot of technicality in words. 
Oliver found out that all the food he's been eating hasn't gone anywhere. Mm. Oh, I actually forgot about that somehow. Yeah. So that's news to me. Now it's in a garbage. That's news to Oliver and that's news to Adam. Like <laughs> I didn't realize that vampires don't poop. So it's like everybody poops <laughs> but vampires. It's a sequel to that book. Yeah, that's the sequel. Everybody asterisk. <laughs> yeah, poops. poops. <laughs> yeah. There are ways to make it happen. Really? <laughs> Call upon the power of the blood, and you can do miracles. It's part of the joys of being undead. But if Jacob, you're... I'm just asking you right now. I'm yeah. not putting this in the box. Sure, sure. There is a way for Oliver to be able to poop again. Not regularly. It would have to be an act of will and blood. But yeah. But I could poop again. Yes. Sick. It's an act of will and blood. It, it in fact, will be. I got a lot of willpower. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Cheers. goodness. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> That's my fan. <laughs> Look, oh, I mean, I'm sure he'd still go to an actual bathroom. Yeah, I'll go to the. I mean, I just missed the act of sitting yeah, in the yeah, toilet. Let's, let's 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 do the the, the rouse check now. And then... yeah. <laughs> let's see how I feel. Oh. And what else happened? Uh, Cameron called chains mm -hmm. and set up a meeting. Mm -hmm. which we have to go do mm -hmm. and then that's pretty much it i think mm. yeah oh and you you tied someone up right yeah we have the yeah, the thin march we have the thin blood. we named them march yeah. march yep margi argi yep no, i'm still just imagining a messy crit on poop and well, we'll see what the first roll is because <laughs> the messy crit from last uh, session automatically procs on the first session on the first roll of the next session but we'll find out what that roll is and whose it is that'll be fun fun i look forward to it i start yeah. juggling chainsaws <laughs> 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 i head to the lows right away <laughs> so uh you are in joe's abode mm -hmm. jabode Oh, uh, like... You've got a temporary willpower damage, correct? Yeah. Yeah, get rid of that. All right. <laughs> Double it. <laughs> <laughs> so you're in the Jabode, uh, the Javen, uh, her, her vampire haven, Joe's vampire haven. Oh, that's good. That, that treats me right. And uh, you all wake the next night. Who has the highest humanity? Eight. Eight. Oh, eight. 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 Oh, uh, wow. Everybody's up before Joe. Great. Awesome. You feel refreshed and you all feel like you need to make rouse checks. Mm. As the blood animates your course. Yes. I failed. You are hungrier. Oh, yeah. Should I just roll mine now? Yes, please. Oh, fail. Fail? You are hungrier. I am not. I mean, there is a ready source of food tied to a chair. Is it food, though? No. It's really up to you to decide. We should hose them down. <laughs> Why? They, well, they filthy. are. Mm, I mean, that is very true. want to eat. I'm, actually, Oliver will probably wake up in the morning, and he's going to wake up hungry, so he's going to go find an animal. All right. Somewhere. Okay. I, I mean, the cul-de-sac is actually near a wooded area. You can go out into the backyard. Yeah, please. Yes, absolutely. Uh, could you roll dumb luck for me, though? Sure can. I think I, can... uh, I got a seven. You seven? roll higher than our luck? Hmm? Yeah, just how many successes did you get? You roll a number of dice. Equal. Yeah, roll, oh. roll a number of dice equal, equal to, to your dumb yep, luck. Equal to your dumb luck. Yep, that's okay. It's a house rule. Uh, no successes. Mm -hmm. Joe lives on the end of the cul-de-sac mm -hmm. as it kind of makes a makes a round. Uh, somebody in the backyard next door as you go out back, kind of mm -hmm. messing about in the garden and a sort of middle-aged uh, woman in a curlers in the hair, getting ready for bed, bathrobe, just kind of like watering. She looks up. Oh, she's moving on. Good for her. <laughs> Wait, what? No, no, no. Favorite no. gossip. 
No, 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 nope. Hi. Hello. Hi. No. No. <laughs> no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> she kind of like curls up the hose and like hangs it up. And like the last thing you hear, she toddles inside. Well, me thinks he protests too much. <laughs> <laughs> Shuts the door. <laughs> and then you hear, Harry. And that's the last thing you hear from inside the house. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go find an animal or something. You can call them to you. Oh, yeah. Forgot about that. Yeah, I'll call the animal to me. All right. How do you do that? You start doing... Hey, animal! There you go. <laughs> Just yelling? Yeah. That's how you activate your discipline? Yeah. Uh, what's the uh, the power that you're using there? Should be on your... Uh, your feral Whisper. Oh, uh, what's the system? If you could remind everybody, it should be on your character cheat sheet there. Feral screaming. Yep. Discipline? <laughs> uh, so. No, I, it's on my phone, but my phone's charging. Oh, I yeah, see. I don't have the sheet printed off. No, that's all right. I got you. Okay, sorry. No, that's all right. Don't worry yeah. about it. I guess I should have realized that we were going to play all right. there. Huh? No, that's 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 cool. No, I'm I'm. I've got your cheat sheets here. I got you. So here you go. Here, we'll just uh, hand you, hand you, hand you, hand you my phone there. Okay. Yep. Should be the second power down. Yeah, Feral Whispers. Mm -hmm. If you could just read off the system to everybody. Uh, vampire can communicate uh, with wild animal or with animals and summon one or more. will scatter if attacked. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Uh, there's, oh, it looks like that's a rouse check as well. <laughs> so if you'd be so kind. That's just a one, one D10, right? One D10. Five. Five. You get hungrier. <laughs> Fuck. The beast. I get hungrier looking for food. The beast oh. uncoils in your chest. Okay. Now you're going to have to eat. I have a hunger of three. You do. Yeah. So. Hey, big animal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hungry. Heather. Oh, yes. What? Big animal shows up to Oliver, who is in Joe's backyard, yelling. You all hear him. You all hear him. Uh, you live out in Souk? Uh -huh. <laughs> a cougar. Oh, fiddlesticks. What a moose. What about a moose? Yeah. Well, that's not what I said. I know Look, it's not what you said. This offer counterpoint, <laughs> moose. This will be your second encounter with the cougar this evening. Hmm. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Right. She didn't come on to him at all. Yeah. He no, wasn't talking she had about her. her. She had her. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say she had her curlers in. Uh, uh, yeah. But, you know, she was happy for you. Big animal. <laughs> A cougar prowls out of the woods. Okay. Hey, uh. I can talk to it, right? Because you can talk with animals. With yep. <laughs> I'm assuming that talking with it. What the hell am I going to do now? I don't know. God, it's going to maul me. I don't even know how this works. Like, can I just calm it? I don't know. Like, hey, it's I got to take a little bite to eat. It's just staring at you. Yeah, I'll get closer. Down on, yeah, down on its haunches. It doesn't move. It doesn't move? No. It's just. Put a hand here. out. Yeah, you pet it. Well, it's like, I'll let it smell me. Cause... Yeah, it does. Oh, sick. What do you want, dead thing? Uh, <laughs> I need a bite to eat. I will bring something. Oh, sick. Yeah, that'd be great. It was going to be you, but if you want to help. Not me. Yeah. <laughs> it was going to be you. I will bring something. Sick, okay. Yes. Yeah. Please roll dumb luck. Corey. Corey, help. Corey, please. One success. It will not be one of your neighbor's pets. <laughs> Sick. It goes off into the woods. <laughs> okay. And is probably gone for a while. Yeah. Inside the house, Joe, you wake to, hey, big animal. <laughs> All of you here, hey, big animal. <laughs> For at least 10 seconds, I just tried to go back to sleep. 
Please, please, no, <laughs> no. Uh, and then I, like you know, kids wake up early on Christmas. Please, yeah, yeah. Please just let me sleep for like five minutes longer. <laughs> no, I, I, I get up, go out into my house to see what is there because it could be different than the way I left it. <laughs> <laughs> the smell of mildew and dried blood assails your nostrils as you get into your dining room. Is Marge awake? Marge is awake and a humming to themselves. Staring out the bay window you have into the backyard directly at Oliver. Mary, little lamb, little lamb. How are you feeling today, Marge? Hungry. Always hungry. Mm. And no one else is around? Just all over out in the back? <laughs> uh, are you around? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's where we, where we bunkered down for the night, so mm -hmm. yeah, I'm around. Um, probably just in the bathroom. Okay. Doing your hair stuff? Yeah. Okay. All right. In the guest bathroom doing the hair stuff? Um, yeah, no, I'm probably out there just checking some text messages. Okay. Yeah, she's curled um, up. You know, not really paying attention. I was. I would assume, like in the living room. Yeah. 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 Because the you've got your entrance and then the living room that you very artfully rearranged. Uh, yeah, I like the, it in there. Yep. Yeah, the stairs. The stairs that go up to a modest, like another couple of bedrooms and a master bath. Uh, and then it there's that small hallway uh, where you found the closet uh, uh, over to the left hand nice. side with the uh, the gifts that still remain expertly rewrapped at the bottom of the closet for the holidays, uh, which are approaching. And then the uh, main entrance to the well-appointed dining room, an open window out into the backyard. Oliver standing in the middle of the yard. I assume the yard is not well maintained. Yeah, there's like a shed, maybe. What? What does it look a like? Long. Yeah, there's like a little, a little shed for the lawnmower. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a reasonably high fence, but mm. other than that, just kind of a yard. Mm. Yeah. Oh, maybe there's probably like a fire pit out there too, and some like old patio chairs. Mm, okay. Yeah. All right. Excellent. But one of the one of the fire pits like in the middle of like a brick Little down. Patio. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yep. Just like off in the back corner there. Okay. All right. Closer to the woods or closer to the house? Closer to the house. Closer to the house. Okay. Yeah. All right. So the back is just like the shed, looking out of the back like the left hand. Yeah. Side. Maybe yeah. there's some like raspberries that are taken over. Okay. I like that. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. So uh, what, I, what I want to do. Yes, indeed. Is work towards a, a blood bond with Marge. Uh, and I don't necessarily know how to do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, I want to tell Marge, was like, if you agree to behave and maybe take a shower, I can get you some blood. I have to watch the lamb. Is that Oliver? I don't know. Okay, but you do want blood. Always. Always, 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 always. And... Do you have some? Can you watch the lamb here? Do you know if you can do that? Or do you need to go somewhere else? I can watch the lamb here. Okay. Then a deal's a deal. Where's the shower? Just down the hall. Okay. I was going to do the blood thing first. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Before yep. letting them go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. You think you see a cougar out back for like half a second? <laughs> <laughs> Hope everyone kept their pets inside. So blood bonds. Mm -hmm. Blood bonds happen uh, when you when a vampire feeds a mortal or another kindred their blood. Uh, there are different stages 
of uh, being blood bound. Uh, essentially, the more someone drinks of you on subsequent nights, the more they are bound to your desires and will, the more they want to be around you. Sometimes this manifests in healthy ways, healthy-ish as far as uh, subsuming the will of another and chaining them to you. Uh, it can happen. And sometimes it happens in unhealthy ways. It becomes obsession instead of love or even hate. But they always kind of want to do what you say. I uh, think the easiest thing is Renfield, the Dracula. Mm. That is ghouling. Doesn't always end up, you know, somebody going like, I'm going to eat flies. Bah. Different strokes for different folks. If it's immortal, they become a ghoul. Essentially a servant. Somebody bound to you to do your will. They get stronger. They get to live pretty much for as long as they drink your blood. And they serve you loyally. Provided they're treated well. If they're not, then they get chances to resist. Mm. When it's given to another vampire, they become chained to your will in the same way. They don't gain any extra powers unless you want to teach it to them. One of the only ways to learn a discipline outside of your clan or outside of the ones that are already awoken in your blood is to feed off of a vampire in another clan and have them teach you the discipline because their particular resonance of blood, their power, has to be imbibed and then awoken. It has to happen for a full blood bond to occur. It has to happen on three subsequent evenings. Mm -hmm. They become less able to resist you the more your blood is given to them. You can't just go one, two, three on one night. It has to happen on three subsequent nights for their body to fully assimilate the blood contained within you. So, they turn to you, mm -hmm. Marge. I would like blood, please. Right, so I guess I bite my hand? Yeah, you absolutely can. Then, yep, with your fangs. Yeah. Yep. To offer them. The, as soon as the smell it hits them, they, like, lunge forward, almost toppling mm -hmm. over in the chair and begin to drink greedily. Mm -hmm. Make a rouse check. Failure. You get hungrier. This is the hungriest you've been in quite some time. Yeah. At four hunger, if you smell blood, you will need to make a frenzy check. It's uh, four hunger. Yes. Yeah. They're trying to take more than you're offering. Do you move your hand away? Yep. They don't bite. There's no fangs. You've not subjected to the kiss. Mm-hmm. They drink and they look satiated. Mm -hmm. Happy. Thank you. Doing better? Much better. Okay. I'm going to untie you. Okay. And then we can get you cleaned up. Okay. So, yeah, I do that kind of slowly and then help them up and lead them to the bathroom. As soon as you untie them, they stand up very suddenly, look at you and go, I'll shower now. And then bust into the bathroom where you're doing your hair. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> no, Marge. <laughs> and they just strip down, buck naked, leave horrible, horrible garments at your feet, get into the shower and turn it on. They still have their underwear on. Tidy whities They are toned, but oh. very thin. Okay. They look emaciated, but even as you're like, what the? Their form fills out just a little bit. Mm. They just stand there as the water begins to steam. Turn on the fan, I guess. And just keep doing what you're doing? Uh, no, it's okay. I'll, I'll let them have the bathroom. Okay. A little bit of privacy or dignity. Mm. Before you leave, mm -hmm. how do I do this? You use the soap. Oh. They turn and they grab the soap. You, you, what, uh, is it shower gel? Is it a bar of soap? Is it? Yeah, a bar of soap. Um, bar of soap? Yeah. All right. Yeah. They grab a bar of soap. You rub it on your skin. Ah. And they start showering themselves as if they'd done it a million times before. Okay. Looks Great. like they just needed a kickstart. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, and then you leave. I'll wait. Actually, okay. I don't like the idea of letting Marge wander around unsupervised. Okay. I'll close the 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 shower curtain. Okay. All right. Excellent. And the pattern on the shower curtain is seashells. It's just a checker pattern. Checker pattern. Okay. Yep. Regular checker pattern. And you wait outside the bathroom. Yes. Uh. Or in the bathroom. Yeah. I'll leave the bathroom. Leave the bathroom. Wait outside. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you see Silas come out of the bathroom that they just went in. Yeah. What are you up to? Are you just kind of watching this whole proceedings? Did you pay attention to anything that just occurred? Nope. Okay. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Great. You're just checking text messages just, just and everything? Just texting. Okay. On your phone. Um, there is a, uh, a text message from your roommate. Jess, Jess, where have you been? Rent's due. Smiley face, frowny face. I'll, uh... This is at like 3.30 in the afternoon. Oh, yeah, it would have been send back a thing it's like i'll get that i'll get that sorted uh tomorrow where are you at friends okay dot 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 i'll tell you later plant emoji croissant (laughs) croissant emoji yeah is that a thing really confusing yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. We're just we're just trying to throw them off then. Yeah. Oh, I was saying that Jess received. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, then yes, yes, yeah. Uh, Eggplant emoji? Question mark. Uh, I'll have to tell you later. Uh, six different random emojis. Okay. <laughs> uh, like a boat, a stop sign. <laughs> <laughs> you get a text back that's like ooh with like a billion H's, and then says can't wait. Uh, I I I like like the the thing. Okay. All right. Cougar comes back. Which one? (laughs) 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 Uh, You get an automatic success in a roll before the end of the season. All right. Well done. Um, I generally have a rule that if you can make me laugh or feel something, uh, rewards for you. Oh, sick. Hmm. Um, oh, we didn't do experience points at the end of the last session. Everybody takes four. Oh. Ooh. Did we get any from session one? Everybody takes eight. <gasps> That's four on top of I the eight? 20. Eight total? <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, I'm at 19. Eight total. <laughs> 20. Yes. How did you get one more? That terrifies me. Uh, a role-playing bonus, I believe. Oh. Yeah. Why? What's so good about 20? That's how much it costs to raise my blood potency. That's good, though, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't that bad for us, though? No. No. But doesn't that attract more powerful people? Sometimes. No. It's like when your power Maybe. level grows, and they're like, what the hell is that three blood potency person doing in Victoria? I mean, we'll and find they're out. they're just going to get come and like, <laughs> like they've heard, they're, yeah. they're like a top-ranked PVPer, and they're, yeah, they're just like, hey, I heard you have good drops. <laughs> yeah. Just picks you up by your throat. <laughs> yeah. No, it's not so like that. So I killed him and took no. his humanity. Yeah. <laughs> One of them was talking to a cougar. So the, uh, the forest creature type cougar yeah. comes back. Okay. Uh, the the other one doesn't really look like she was into camping. Mm-hmm. So I hope that's clear. Uh, dragging a raccoon. Is that enough for me? The whole raccoon could do it. Okay. Yeah. The whole raccoon could do it. It's a Sick. fat one. Hey. I guess thanks. an urban you fat got, one. You got a name? It stalks by night. <laughs> that's pretentious. Jeez. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Stocks by night. What is pretentious? Oh, uh, don't worry about it. It's a human thing. Mm. Yeah. You're not human, though. Well, well, hey, you didn't come here to be judged by a cat. No judgment. You're a hunter like me. Well, I mean, I mean, that is very apparent because you just killed something for me. I am not a hunter. You are bad at it. <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> That's okay, though. We can't be good at everything, right? I am good at everything. Everything? Yes. I eat. I sex. <laughs> I sleep. I am good at everything. 
You solve a Rubik's Cube? What is Rubik's Cube? Ah, see? Checkmate. What is checkmate? <laughs> Double checkmate. Uh, the list grows. <laughs> Man, dumb cat. <laughs> Not so cool after all, are you? Huh? Just let you know that there's always someone bigger and badder than you. <laughs> not here. Maybe you? No, it's not me. I know it's not me. Hmm. Maybe Joe. Joe's pretty tough. Mm, it looks into the house. Uh, yes. And then it like backs it like looks at Joe and then like backs mm -hmm. off a little bit. Yeah. Queen. Queen? Yeah. B? No. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. I hear kids say it all the time, but I'm just repeating things because <laughs> that's what you do in social situations. Checkmate. <laughs> 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 and it leaves. Thanks, a raccoon. Stalks by night. I'll eat. <laughs> the raccoon is mostly stunned. It is alive and like yeah. wriggles as you yeah, it drain its life. Uh, may I, perhaps before you eat, remind you where you are? Oh, yeah. I shouldn't eat in here. I'll go in the garage. <laughs> like in the shed? You just like yeah, go into the yeah, shed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just open the shed. Is it locked? No, no, it's not. Yep, Sick. yep. Yeah, you yeah, walk I'll, into a tool shed. Yeah. Oh, uh, right there. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Uh, you remember Hank telling you something like, oh, "I've been meaning to get my shovel back." You see a fairly tatty shovel that Hank Hinkleman written on the side. Fuck Most Hank. everything in here has uh, Hank Hinkleman written on it. Oh. Fuck Hank. He can get it himself. Coward. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I'm not here to, I'm not getting in the middle of this divorce. Are you kidding me? Yeah. The, Good, gas, thanks. the gas can has Hank Tank written on it. Nice. <clears throat> Silas, mm -hmm. you hear the shower stop. All right. Uh, the door opens. Marge is dripping wet. Towel. Use a towel. Wrap yourself in a towel. It'll absorb the water. Remember, it grab dry yourself. What color is the towel? They're like an off-white. Mm, okay. Like cream colored. Okay. Uh, Marge fairly expertly like wraps their hair, their fairly long hair up. Um, it's still tatty, but at least it got wet a little bit. And mm. it looks like they put the soap all through the hair. No, that's They're be better. Yeah. And then they wrap their hair up and then they take one of the towels. They're still wearing the tidy whiteies. They're dripping wet. And they wrap the towel around, they wrap another towel around their waist. Then they grab a couple of hand towels and wrap them around their arms. <laughs> and then uses another washcloth as like a scarf. Sure. Dude, it's a pod person. <laughs> I have a theory what happened to the first <laughs> yeah. but Am I clean? You look great, Marge. I don't feel clean. No. I don't ever feel clean. Actually, while Marge was in the uh, shower, yes, could I put their clothes in the in the wash? Uh, yes, you can do that. You definitely yeah. see that happen. I I would have last night because of the clothes. I would have put a load in, and so there's probably these two old clothes in the dryer. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, and then Wouldn't I want my clothes just be unsalvageable at that point. I was literally sitting with a dead deer in my lap for like two hours. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's a really good, like a, I made a, a little private roll because uh, her backyard isn't lit. Uh, the next door neighbor didn't see you covered in blood. Okay. They definitely saw a person and then like looked away as soon as you started going, no, 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 no. <laughs> they were minding their own business. Yeah. Mm. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what? It, when I see like Silas bring out the dirty clothes and go towards like the laundry to put them, I'm like, Oh, someone's finally doing something. <laughs> so I go get uh, Marge some clean clothes to wear. Okay. Um, like some of Hank's old stuff? Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's a bit loose, yep. but Hank was never a big guy. Uh, intended to wear things that were tighter so that he could be like, yeah. Juicy. Yes. Hank uh, looked good in a t-shirt once. Yeah. Yes, he did. And then decided that was his style. Mm. Yep. Yep. Good in that Letterman jacket. Uh, so you find uh, 
uh, some of the uh, old Ed, Ed Hardy tees that they wore near the end of your relationship. Yep. 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 And some uh, skinny jeans because they were trying a thing. Yep. It didn't work. Nope. Yep. But fits Marge. Fits Marge pretty well. A little loose. But, you know, you meet this person on the street and they don't seem like they don't have clothes. Yeah. So, you eat. Your hunger goes down one. Sick. For the raccoon. Uh, did you want to try and summon more? No, I'm okay. Two's fine, right? Is two unbearable? No, two is not no, unbearable. Two's okay. No. Two's fine? Okay. Yeah. Unbearable, you're starting to get around four. Okay. Yeah. Two's fine. It's just the more the hungrier you are, the bigger the risk. Mm-hmm. So you have you're still just doing texts. You are kind of watching now. Watching now, okay. I come back inside and be like Jordan, your neighbor thinks we're dating. <laughs> he comes I told him no. Covered in blood. <laughs> uh, no, that's that's Jessica laughing <laughs> out loud at that. Okay, uh, go to the laundry room and put what? your oh. <laughs> Whoa. Put your stuff in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, my bad. I got hungry. I ate a raccoon. I made a nice cougar, though. You can add more bacon Two of them. soda to the... Um... What? This smells like blood. Yeah. <laughs> uh, not. It's not fresh anymore. Okay. Well, it's okay. You're fine. You're fine. Right. But I do... I do you, need to go for a minute... Can you watch Marge for a few minutes? I'll, yeah, I'll be sure, back shortly, and then we can give anyone rides wherever they need to go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. I'll, I'll just be back. I'll just pop up the back. Okay. All right. Okay. Marge is clothed. Marge is clothed. All no shoes. No shoes. That's socks. fine. The socks That's are fine. fine. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Go ahead. Hmm. Oh, I was just going to ask Marge about the lamb, the song. Who taught him the song? Everybody knows it. Well, everybody knows it, but you you sing it. I do. What does it mean? I don't know. Do you have a lamb you're supposed to watch? Yeah. Who is it? The lamb. Yeah, who's the, who is your lamb? Not my lamb. The lamb. Mary's lamb. Who is Mary? Um, um, she's Mary. Where do you watch the lamb from? Behind my eyes. Behind my eyes. Okay, Marge. I think you're stressed. I'm out. It's okay, Marge. You don't have to think about it anymore. Don't ask about her. Hey, Marge. Okay. Do you have a favorite color? Taupe. <laughs> it's oddly specific. It's slow. It's a good color. Taupe. Taupe. Huh. Huh. I mean, soap taupe. <laughs> That's what they called me. Now that you're watch washing their... Uh, Clothes, mm -hmm. the top, the toe. Oh, just like a nice calming beige. Yep. Mm -hmm. Pants are green. Pants are green. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to look at my feet now. And then Marge goes into the kitchen, hops up on one of the counters, puts her feet in the sink, and just starts staring at them. I like socks. And that's where they stay, unless you'd like to interact with Marge a little bit more. But let's put a pin on that. And you are going to travel the cul-de-sac once again. Yep. It's been busy lately. Um... It has. Hmm. Hmm. Who would you like to go after? Or would you like to pop into a... A neighboring called the sack. Yeah, I, I would like to move a little bit further away. Ooh, takeout. <laughs> that would be calling like a pizza delivery guy. No. Um, pick up. Pick up. <laughs> mm, pick up. <laughs> Talking about cougars again. 
<laughs> Five dollars freshness. Um. Yeah, I'm just trying to think if I have like a consistent group of people that I go. You're generally your consistent group of people because I believe you have heard. I don't. Haven security system. Oh status. yes. Yep. Yes. Yeah, but your general hunting ground is here. Um, we can just abstract this to a... Yep, uh, let's do it. Yep, a security... Uh, I'm sorry, excuse me, larceny. larceny. Yep. Uh, uh, let's dexterity? Do, uh, let's do... Because you're trying to find somebody's house. Uh, let's do larceny resolve. Because you're going to somewhere slightly unfamiliar. Through the backwoods. So that's five? Mm-hmm. Please go ahead. Oh no! Oh, Do yes. I even need to roll? No, no, you don't. Well, six, three, four successes. Mm. Yeah, that's good. Too bad it doesn't matter. Oh, it does. It's a messy critical. Mm -hmm. This doesn't have to be bad. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna go around the table once again, instituting the Gerber rule. What do you all think happens, up to and including? Again, keep in mind, uh, claim compulsions. Very, very, like, wait, I'm sorry, what, who are you feeding on? I don't know. Some rando. On the street? In a house. In a house? That was the goal. Okay. The goal was, was okay. to find a house that's easy to get into, feed on somebody while they're sleeping. All right, so you're, uh, like, easy to get into, windows just wide open, but you run into every single lamp. Just run into all the lamps. <laughs> they all okay. smash. All right. Okay. Uh, larceny, so you're, okay, resolve is usually used as, like, your, uh, mental togetherness. Yes. Right? Yep. And larceny is breaking and entering. Mm-hmm. So, what would that look like on a very bad success, or a very critically good, like, how does the monkey's paw curl in that mm. combination? In that combination? Um... Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Is it obsessive meticulousness? It could be. I think that's a fine that's a fine direction to go. Yeah. Um so you're able to accomplish what you need, but it takes you much longer than you think it will. Okay. Lose track of time. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. All right. Lose track of time. What do you think? You get there and there's a window open. You're like, wow, this is easy. And there's another vampire already feeding on somebody. <laughs> That's terrifying. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Occupied. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Occupado. Uh, I think I find a decent looking house. Maybe they have like a basement suite or sublet. Uh, and the door doesn't open easily and so i bust the door lock okay you bust the door lock getting in yeah okay not waking anybody up no nope. but it's definitely broken into someone's house has been broken into someone's house has been broken into one of those night invasions that you've been hearing about yep yes indeed okay um i'm gonna go with clan compulsion activates all right uh could you just read off the clan compulsion so that everybody knows what to vote on so if you don't mind for the bruja compulsion is rebellion the fixation is to go against the status quo in the scene that would be it. I would activate that for the next scene. You accomplish your task. You take as much as you need. Yep. Uh, and the resolution is to change someone's mind or do something unexpected. Ah. Um. So I would say the clean compulsion. Yep. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, I'm with that. I'm with that. Clean compulsion. I want to see how that works. Okay. All right. But you were able to accomplish your task fairly handily, uh, sneaking in and out as you are. You know, you pop the lock of this basement suite very easily just mm -hmm. an easy credit card pop they just had a little latch on there got in through the you know you just were able to reach over and get into the basement like through the backyard and the gate it was simple simple you creep in and take how much they are college student young chinese kid Two wouldn't kill them, right? No, but they would just wake up really, really... Yeah, 
Yeah. Like they can call in sick the next day. Mm -hmm. I'll take two. Okay. Yeah. That essentially you're making somebody anemic. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you lower by two <laughs> and you're getting really, did I kill the raccoon? Yes, yes. definitely. Yeah. Damn. All of the smaller animals that you feed on die. Yeah. Okay, I was just asking. And as you feed, and as you're done, you lick the wound closed, and the walk back, you're filled with uh, kind of fed up with following orders. Mm hmm. You understand it's for the greater good, but. Oh. Might be time to shake something up. It's tough to suppress these instincts. So, I think it's a fine time to go visit Chains. Oh no. What do you all think? Yeah, yeah. that's pretty good. Could use some time away outside, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I'd like to go for That'll walkies. Be fun. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Take Oliver out for walkies? Yeah. So car ride. Car ride. Oh, I love car rides. Jingle the keys. <laughs> He'd ask for a phone call. Mm hmm first i you how do you call them uh go back down to the gas station yeah can we stop at the gas station on the way mm -hmm. yep in your brand new antiseptic van mm -hmm. i assume you have apprised the rest of your coterie of the plan of we're going to go visit chains what are we doing yeah. with marge mm, what a great question they come with us yeah we can keep an eye on them <laughs> get information see if they find something familiar marge you want to go for walkies Yes. Okay. They get their feet out of the sink. <laughs> and they walk to the front door and they just stand there. Okay. Going for walkies? <laughs> yep. Everyone in the van. Yeah. Everyone Go. in the van. Everyone includes Marge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Marge heads out the front door, gets in the van. The driver's seat. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, Marge, no, no. I don't think you're driving. I call shotgun. Dang her. Marge, you're in the back. Okay. Just climbs over the back seat, climbs over you, mm -hmm. sits down in the middle of the open area in the back. Marge is in the back. <laughs> All right. Everyone's in? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Just yep. Start her up, back out. Seatbelt. Uh, I put a seatbelt on Marge. There are four chairs. That's it. There's no seatbelt in the back. It's just an open space. What is this death trap? <laughs> This is why I call shotgun. Yeah. <laughs> what if we crash? I'm dead. You're already Wait, dead. Wait, I'm already dead. Well, you, you have a seatbelt. Yeah, you Marge have a seatbelt. Seat oh, Marge, Marge doesn't have a seatbelt. Seat belt. Yep. There's four chairs and like a space in the middle. That's it. March seat Oliver gets left. my seat. I mean, Oliver. Marge gets my seat. Okay. Marge sits down. Because I'm... She Is she dead? They? Are yeah. they dead? Yeah. Yeah. Marge is dead. Let's go with they. They haven't really yeah. revealed yeah. the gender. You said he wouldn't describe me earlier, so mm. I've been... Let's go with they. they. Let's, Let's go with they. Right. Are they dead? They're dead, right? Is a thin blood dead? Yes. Yeah. Like it's like a vampire, but just... Again, less yeah. teeth. Mm -hmm. Yes, fewer teeth. And it's well, like, not all of them. If vampirism had like a flu? Um, If vampirism had a flu... Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. That's a really good way to put it. But uh, not all thin bloods are alike. Okay. Some yeah. of them suffer from different Marge afflictions. Can't have my seat. Yeah. That's part of the reason why a lot of vampires and Camarilla are very trepidations around them because they don't know what they can do. A lot of times, like Kaitif, like it, they break the structures. Okay. Yeah. So, March sits down, clicks in. You stop by the gas station. Yeah. Call yeah. Chains. You call Chains. Who's calling Chains? Do you want to? I don't even know that we're calling oh, okay. chains. You, you're yeah. supposed to call them. Yeah, I'll call chains. Okay. All right. Junkyard. Sticks. We're on our way. Oh, that's early. All right. Well, I mean, my, I'm actually, huh. Yeah. Well, one second. You hear just kind of over like, oh, you mind if they come over? Yeah. All right. Great. Uh, I'm going to give you, uh, b b b I'm going to give you some directions. All right. You got a pen and paper? I do. 
All right. I'm nodding on the phone like an idiot. Yes, you all yes. see it. Jessica especially. You're like, ah. <laughs> Waving you, to the receiver. You are given directions to a living community in between here and Michosen. Huh. It's the start of one of those new builds that are out there. Mm -hmm. um, and you're given directions and instructions to buzz the gate. Okay. When you get there and you'll be let in. Okay. Okay. All right. I relay these instructions. Uh, yeah. Everybody best behavior. Absolutely. All right. You're not going to the junkyard. I just want to be very clear here. Okay. But, uh, you know, the safest place is any to have a conversation and uh, somebody wants to talk to you. Okay. Jessica's with you, yeah? Yeah. Great. See you in a bit. See you in a bit. Yep. Yeah, hangs up. Okay. I give... Um... I give Joe the directions and you are very familiar with the island, you know, yeah. some place between here and Michosen. Uh you're not quite familiar with some of these road names. Yeah. But you're able to get out there. You're you're like this is kind of the middle of nowhere. Can vampires use GPS? Is that on the no no list? They can't use cell phones. It was probably not put in the van. Uh, this van does not have GPS. Well, actually, this van does have GPS capability. Hmm. You do have, yeah, it's okay. Like cool. I said, it's 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 a repurposed like. So it's got like police the, paddy wagon the display. It does have a display. All right. Yep. yep. Yeah, we'll I mean, the, the, the GPS the, the GPS has been disabled, but you can turn it back on. Oh, I don't need to. I can use a map. Just have like a fold out map. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're pretty yeah. sure you know how to get there. Yeah. Yep. And you've got fold out maps. Like. Yeah. Joe seems like the kind of person that would have a lot of fold-out maps. I don't, need, I don't need GPS. Yeah. Or, I mean, you can get whoever's in shoddy to navigate for you. If you want. <laughs> Again, recommendation. You not don't a... have to. So, uh, uh, van rules is the... <laughs> uh, van if rules. you're going to be in the co-pilot seat, you have to navigate. So just make sure we don't I drive it. into the sea. Here's the map. Well, I have uh, to use the map. Can I use my phone? Maybe you you should take a break from your phone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fine. Damn. I love everything about this. Yeah. So, Jessica, I don't know if you've ever learned how to use... Nope. A folding map. Nope. I am definitely holding it sideways. Mm. Like on an angle. Mm. Not even upside down. Mm. Do you do the thing where you look at it and are like... It's like... <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it's also on the other side, so yeah. it's the wrong yeah. map. Mm -hmm. and, uh, it's like a list of restaurants on the other like, side. Yep. Anybody want to help here? Oliver can help. You got it on. You got a. There's a. There's like a list. You can look up the street name on the back. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then you just yeah. cross reference. See, yeah. look right here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Look. Mm. There's the street name. Yeah. Mm. Flip it over. C four. Look. See. Right there. Okay, but where are we? That's where we got to go, right? But where are we? So it's like that the phone that puts a marker right that tells over. you where you are. Yeah yeah, 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 I understand how GPS works, okay, young lady? Are you sure? Yes, I am. I'm going to teach you how to use a map. Yeah. Okay, where are we right now? I'll figure out where yeah, we are it's, right it's, now. I'll just look. Like, okay. You're able to find, yeah, you're like, where oh, we are right now. Just okay. in her happy place driving. Yeah. This well, is where we are right now. Is occupied. This is where we have to go. Where, how does it, when, when does it tell you when you're moving? It it's doesn't tell you when you're moving. moving. You just got to pay attention. So by the time you figure out where you're going and how to, where you started and how to get there, you arrive. <laughs> hey, look, it's there. Ah, good job. See? Oh. Wasn't that hard? Cool. I know yeah. how to read a map now. Yeah. There you go. See? Teach a, teach a child of the night to fish. 
I mean, a fish for life. And I crumple up the map. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're doing great, sweaty. I don't even try to fold it. <laughs> like, there. There you go. Perfect. I assume Oliver is now trying to rustle with the map and yeah. fold it back up. Yeah. Uh, what's Silas doing during uh, all of this? <laughs> ah, just good. face palming. <laughs> good. I'm actually going to uh, see if I can assimilate Jessica's notes from last night. Ah, okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, you're able to get all of the pertinent information. Okay. Uh, as you, you pretty much, you're like, ah, I need to eliminate every adverb and adjective. Yes. Ah, good. Ah. And then you get to the, the pages with the moon and it's just, you can just throw these pages out. Yeah. Just go through it with a red pen. Oh yeah. Some, please, please. <laughs> Do I you literally worry. sit there with a red pen and go through like right in her notebook? This is my notebook. Oh, okay. Yeah, yes. it's, it's your notebook. Okay. Sure. But you're right beside him, right? Mm -hmm. So mm. when I hand the map back to you and I look over, I just see this red pen mess. Yeah, okay. Figures. You're near the coast. <laughs> okay. You're actually at the coast. Um, there is a new, over to the uh, right side, this is actually one of the roads out to Michosen. It sort of dips down. It's a beautiful, beautiful vista on your left-hand side. There's a new development coming in over to the right. Mm. It's a huge kind of empty area. Most of the trees have been taken down. There's a, line, a tree line off in the distance, but there's a couple of, um, well, there's a lot of logging machines and temporary construction houses and stuff like that. Uh, it's new property. Monomer Heights, a new development brought to you by Megadon Industries. All right. Yep. Uh, what were the instructions? Buzz the gate. There is a large gate in front of you. Uh, the cliff sort of like falls away on the right-hand side. There's a small patch of forest because this mansion that you can actually see in the distance before you is on an inlet sort of that juts out into the ocean. The view is incredible. And there is a fairly freshly built McMansion at the end mm -hmm. of this. Uh, all angles and bronze and black glass that probably cost too much money yes the, can i make an architecture roll certainly what are you looking to find I'm looking to critique it ah all right what's your uh academics architecture is two yes and then what would be the linked stat or attribute well what do you think would be the linked attribute for critiquing intelligence there you are can I take half? This uh, is I'm I'm not Yes, absolutely. Yeah. 100%. I'm just asking what your dice pool is. Oh, uh 6. Yes, 100%. You can critique to your heart's content. All right. Two successes. Excellent. We'll or critique it. Th three successes. Uh uh do you like it? Is it just a regular ass McMansion? Uh it definitely seems to be sort of custom made. Uh, -huh. uh it is not like the other mansions uh that you see around. You know, with the little mm -hmm. jutting boxes. This is, it definitely evokes a sort of Italian villa, but in very modern style. Huh. Is it cheap and ugly? No. No. That's interesting. Is it going to be echoey and cost a billion dollars a year to heat or cool? Probably. Okay. Hmm. You notice the front gate. Mm -hmm. has a big fuck off G in the middle of it. Oh, what? This is Monica's. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what? Just drive up to the gate. He was dragging. I guess it's got one of the little boxes with a little button, mm -hmm. right? Just yeah, absolutely. Out and poke it. Yep. Giovanni residence. Uh, Hinkleman and crew. <laughs> <laughs> you are expected. And the gate doesn't creak open. It glides. It makes no sound. I want one. Wow, good oil. Wow. All right, so I drive through. As soon as you drive through the gate, the 
piece of a graveyard descends upon you. It is quiet, save for the crashing of the waves. As soon as you get past the initial copse of trees, the property actually opens up a little bit before you. There is a modern fountain in the middle of the small cul-de-sac at the end. There are small offlets from the cul-de-sac where people are to drive into garages. There seems to be spaces for multiple cars. Guests seem to be expected at some point at this place. This is a house for hosting. Mm. Mm. Okay, I'm just gonna drive my wizard van up to the front door. <laughs> mm -hmm. Get out. Uh, there is a man. <laughs> There's a man waiting on the front steps. Uh, swarthy. Looking for all the world like a refrigerator poured into a butler's outfit. Mm. Black hair. Long. Straight. Slicked. Down to here. Down to the shoulders. Intense look. Brown eyes. Mm. You pull up. He immediately steps forward and opens the door for you. Miss Hinkleman? Uh, hi. He hello? Ah. Uh, a pleasure to meet you. Uh, you are? My name is Giuseppe. Giuseppe. Giuseppe, Giuseppe Dunstern. Dun Dunstern. Dunstern. Giuseppe Dun Dunstern. Well, uh, we're here. Welcome. I shall park your ride around uh, the side there, yes? Or would you rather leave it here? We are afforded, and he looks to both sides, a certain amount of privacy. I assure you all, you may speak freely. Your natures may be known here. I prefer it if the vehicle remains under my control. I understand. Please. Put it in park. Leave it here. I shall see no harm comes to it. And the rest of you? Your names, please, so I may announce you. Silas Reed. Silas Reed? Of House and Clan Tremere. Ah, uh -huh. excellent. A pleasure. A pleasure. And... Please don't feel pressured to announce your clans. It's none of our business. Your names, however, I would I'm adore. I'm Jessica. Jessica. Ah, Miss Chadwick, yes? Yes. I've put some of your works on display in the main hall. Hmm. Quite taken. Quite, quite taken, the mistress is. Thank you. You're welcome. You're very welcome. Just imagining like a poster print of a listicle. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, I, 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 I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's it's your your costume design, mm -hmm. but Oliver, uh, like Cher. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Very well. I never thought of it like that. That's this cool. Is, this is March. March. Also like Cher. Also like Cher. Yeah. Hello, Marge. Marge waves. Mm. I'm Marge. I'm Marge. Mm. Short for marginalia. So I'm a short for Margaret. Yeah, that too. <laughs> well, with that, shall we enter? Yeah. Excellent. And he goes over to the door and the door is open by themselves. Uh, and he, with gloves and all of the uh, pomp and circumstance uh, that he can muster. He turns around. You are very, very welcome. You are very, very welcome. This feels like a trap. To house Giovanni. Enter freely and of your own volition. No. It's not. <laughs> no, this place is okay. amazing looking. Uh, it is. It is. Yeah. Like, almost every modern convenience that you can imagine is here. Um... As soon as you enter, there is a one of those like gas fire pits in the middle. Um, and gas isn't very prevalent on the island. Like it costs a lot of money to get natural gas. And this is natural gas way the heck out. Like mm. 
20, 30 minutes outside of Victoria proper. Mm -hmm. The stairs go up to split into, uh, there are a couple of doors that you can see up top, and then they split to go to other parts of the houses. Smaller stairs break off from that to go off into some of the little sort of almost cubbies and rooms that were stuck off. There is a very large foyer to the left, a very large foyer to the right, and to the right in the back, you can see going back to what looks to be a atrium off of, if you would imagine the kitchens back there, you can't really see. Uh, Chains and Mistress Giovanni are waiting for you out back in the atrium. Right this way, please. So, how do you know the mistress? He says, making small talk as you walk. We were introduced at a function that Chains hosted. Ah, one of the uh, fets. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Mm. I do wish the mistress would keep better company sometimes. Mm. And you are associated with? We are associated with the Camarilla. Ah, I see. Well, we know the Ivory Tower has certain benefits, don't we? Naturally. Mm. We are all allies here. Ah, all kindred under the night. Yes. I understand. Mm. Mm. Uh, for those of you paying attention, he is definitely breathing. This is okay. not pale. Mm -hmm. Would you like to perhaps use your discipline to make sure? Since the beast? What? Oh. Or if you want to. No, I'm okay. You're good? I wouldn't think about it. Yeah. You wouldn't think to do I it? Don't, Oliver wouldn't think of doing it. Okay. It's not really... Yeah. Just like waiting for the big moment of talking the chains. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I assume this guy is a ghoul. I'm a bit surprised there's... I, I don't know if the Giovanni can like make zombies. I don't know how it works anymore. Zombies are real? Are you saying this out loud? No. Oh, no, okay. All right. No, 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 no. <laughs> what a good time to find out. Yeah, I know, hey. right? How long has this place been around? Um, Well, with your... In, if. You actually asked. No, I'm asking. Oh, you're asking? Uh, okay. Um, would you like to preempt the ghoul to answer this question, architect? Uh, yeah, sure. Style, you'd imagine this was built around three years ago? Mm-hmm. Uh, I give information that I, as a person, don't have mm -hmm. that Silas does. Yes. Yep. Just mm -hmm. pretty much it was built around, <laughs> it was built around three years ago. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, Neo-Gothic architectural style. Uh, based on the uh, Italian architects, so and so and so and so. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, very good. Playing RPGs, because I wouldn't be able to tell you anything about woodworking, but Oliver knows. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you absolutely can just be like, <laughs> Silas gives this information. Yeah. Brr, you know, huh. yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Three years ago. Oh. Also, a reminder that I have sensed the unseen. Indeed. So, if there's any, well, you have to activate that. Do I? Oh, okay. That's a willful thing. Yeah. Let's Is that not something do that you'd like yet. To... All right. Yeah. It would okay. be rude. It would be rude. Who would know? Good question. Who would know? Who would know? After all, why shouldn't I keep it? <laughs> <laughs> I could just roll wits and auspects here. You could just roll wits and auspects here. Would you like to do so? Yeah. Yeah, I would. And this isn't a rouse check, correct? No. Ah. Uh, is there anyone else here that has sense the unseen? Nope. Well, it's an Auspex. <laughs> yeah. Discipline, yes. Oh, yeah, and I, I think do. the Toreador are known oh. for that. Yeah. Forgot all of my abilities. Yeah, I have that. Would you also like to? You are. Uh, it's up to you. Yeah, sure. Okay. This is. Uh, two successes. Two successes. Thank you. Uh, and could you just read the uh, discipline off towards uh, just for everybody's benefit? Yeah, thank you. Let me re use it. Use the cheat sheet. Attuned to dimensions beyond the mundane, see something hidden or supernatural in nature, like ghosts. Hmm. Um, and two successes. Yes. Yes. All right. Two ghosts. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention <laughs> with what we we're supposed to be rolling for that. You get to pick either. Of those two. Okay. And Auspex. So like your discipline plus whichever of the stats you right. pick. Yep. So. Hunger dice do apply. 
My dice pool is five. Five? All right. Can I take half? Not here. Okay. Five successes. Uh, one, two, four. Four successes. Nothing. Okay, I, yeah, I just have to. No I'm crit. just double checking. <laughs> I'm just checking in. Yeah, yeah. No tens. Okay, how many? Four. Four. There is something deeper here, but you can't quite put your finger on it. That would be to be expected. Yes. There's something in Giuseppe. You can kind of see another figure layered almost on top of him like a mech suit not really a mech suit <laughs> more like a hex suit no, okay mm. wispy tendrils drift off of him as you see something riding him almost Another face within his face looks back at you, featureless, for the most part. It doesn't seem happy that you can see it. I just look the other way. <laughs> you reach the atrium through a huge industrial-sized kitchen, definitely made to host several several gaggles of mortals out to the atrium which is a lovely lovely greenhouse out the back that opens up into a larger garden again two or three fountains kind of take up the rest of the land out back there's a little hedge maze you can't really see the way that the inlet is done in the house is you can't see any of this from the road from as far back as it is even if you drive down the road and look back you'd still really only see the house and maybe some hedges on the end. This is expertly done. Very well hidden. Chains in a suit. Like a professorial's outfit. Tweed jacket. Patches. Button-down black shirt. His belt is a chain. Sits. That large black man sits with a Beautiful woman, long, straight black hair, piercing green eyes, perfectly manicured. She looks like a statue come to life, and you'd believe that she was put together by some Renaissance artist, were it not for the bright pink pajamas she's wearing. She's sitting on one of her steel garden chairs in the middle of tropical greenhouse knees tucked up to her chest hugging them and kind of head rested talking with chains she's got bright pink fuzzy bunny slippers on hmm. she looks as beautiful as the night that you met her but all of the elegance is put away She lowers her feet as you come in, stands up. Ah, my guests, come in, please. Welcome. I will uh, leave you to speak with Chains, but um, you're welcome to use my home. It's a pleasure to see you again, Miss Chadwick. Uh, please, sit, avail yourselves. Uh, Giuseppe will bring you some more chairs, as is required. I've already done so, ma'am. They are over in the side parlor and you look over and there is a small mm. sort of solarium area where there is a large round table and chairs have already been laid out small electric candles have been put there for illumination mm. it looks for all the world like a little romantic spot Ooh, are we eating <laughs> oh are you hungry oh Giuseppe, feed the man. No, 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 not like, sorry. No, not like that. Ah, well, do any of you require a refreshment? I'll, I'll, I'll take some. Giuseppe, Please, feed you. the woman. Uh, and Giuseppe just very dutifully comes over and bows his head and offers his arm. Oh, well, I guess it would be rude 
want to at this point. I did. Yep. Okay. Okay. I'll just try How much to... do you take? Just one, but one? I, I'm just going to look a little embarrassed the whole time. Just try not to make eye contact with anybody. I don't, I don't even look at you. I'm just like, like... <laughs> this is weird. Giuseppe does his best to not, but does anyway. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. And he stands up straighter. Hmm. I assume you lick the wound closed? Yeah. Yes. You lick the wound closed. He bows. Toddles out a little slightly unsteady, but not as much as you would imagine. Monica bows. I'll see you after your business is concluded, yes? I hope so. She winks at you. Turns and leaves. Chain stands up. Well, I mean, she set the table. We might as well, right? He grabs one of the chairs and just drags it loudly mm. over the mm. cement, yeah. over, sets it down, puts his feet up. I feel underdressed. I mean, I just came from work. Yeah. Shakespeare, right? Damn right. What's Have on seen? the uh, syllabus this semester? Uh, nothing. Much ado about it. Oh. <sighs> Come on, Shakespeare's filled with puns. <laughs> yeah. So he sits down, kicks back, have a seat. All right, I do. So, this the one? Yeah. All right. Come here, let's have a look at you. Marge is hiding behind you. Mm-hmm. Come on, Marge. Marge, like, walks up. Mm. And, like, looks really nervous, like... Mm. She just kind of... You have a little... Hmm? Yeah. What was it? What happened? Looks like you tried to do a B and e and found something uh, like a laboratory. Mm -hmm. Some kind of blood refining. Animals. Okay. Oh, that's messed up. Yeah. All uh, right. Drugs? Didn't feel like it. Well, it felt like a meth lab, but for blood. Okay. All right. All also, right. he's not on anything. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. All right. That's enough. That's enough out of you. Kind of like waves, Marge. Marge immediately goes yep. back behind you. Come on, Marge. Let's grab a seat. Yep. Uh, Marge sits immediately down. Do you all take the chairs? <laughs> yeah. 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 Yep. So, <clears throat> what you been up to? Well. Taking it one night at a time. <laughs> yeah, it's been a little crazy. Mm. Uh, I can, yeah, I don't know. It's different. I don't know how else to explain it. I'm new to this. Mm. It's weird. All right. Yeah, that's about it. That sounds about right. So what? Uh, what can the Baron do for you? We think the garage is north of town, so that's more your area. Oh, you want to find the garage. All right. How far? Langford? Difficult. Yeah, difficult to say, Langford. I'll show him the sketch. Yeah, it looks to be about Langford. Uh, all right. You know what? I mean, the reason I'm here, I was expecting you to call me a little bit later. Mm -hmm. Uh... Just between you, me, and the surveillance. All this here? Uh, pretty much. You can assume that anything you say here is going to get back to Monica anyway, so it doesn't matter. I was going to ask her okay. what was happening. Uh, but before we do that, I got something different to talk to you about. You know, just while she's over there. It'll take at least a few minutes for things to get to her. Chains leans back. You can kind of hear the tweed jacket grown under protest of his prodigious width. He folds his arms, showing you the leather of his patches, well worn from leaning forward on a podium. So you all give any thought to uh, come to work for Old Chains? Remains an open question. Mm -hmm. 
Well, don't take too much time. Because if this is, and he kind of throws his chin to Marge, if this is any indication, things are starting to move and shift. Now, you called Chains for a favor. And Chains doesn't recall owing any of you a boon. No. So... What do you have to offer Chains? If Chains is going to use his contacts and their house, what are you going to offer Chains? You just want to owe me one? It seems like you would appreciate an ongoing friendly relationship. Yeah. Ongoing friendly relationship, though, in some circles, <laughs> means free. Chains doesn't do free. And in this case, it means we get a little information from you and take care of the problem. That we mutually have. Chains likes not doing shit. Okay. I scratch your, your back, you scratch mine, but you let me know what's up, yeah? Yeah, okay. Let me know how things are go. Yeah? Okay. Just a little friendly relations, you know. Reaching a hand across the aisle, as it were. We're all in the same boat here. <laughs> water, water everywhere. So. We're on an island. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a... That's the point there, boss. Okay. Yeah. You all right? Yeah. Good. Okay. You seem a little shaky. No? No. Okay. I'm good. Chains leans over to Joe. He's going to snap soon. All right. He was talking to a mountain lion earlier today. <laughs> he... Well, look at you. What? Talking to a mountain lion earlier today. Oh, it stalks at night? Oh, it's got a name. Yeah. That's great. Hey, let's get Monica. <laughs> and he stands up and uh, Monica's actually already walking down the kind of turn the corner around the plants uh, towards you. Uh, she has changed into a business suit. Hmm. No undershirt looking flawless she goes and sits down this is a individual that is used to using their sexuality for power mm. or at the very least they understand their appearance mm -hmm. when she sits does it look like she just kind of like perches on an object like she would just remain in that position whether the chair was there or not kind of yes about that sort of rigid and then if you took the chair away, she would still be sitting in that mm -hmm. position. That's the impression that you get. I'm not jealous. Chains is, uh, begins to speak up. So, all of these folks, and she just puts her hand up. Chains, please. Beat it. And he's like, all right. I'll see you later, though. She's like, she nods. Chains uh, departs. He's like, all right, I'm going to head out, but you all, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Right. Yeah, just stay in touch. Stay in touch. You got my number. Yep. All right. Keep calling me on them pay phones, though. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Sticks? Yeah. All right, sorry, sorry, sorry. Looks over to Monica, who's shooting him a dirty-ass look. He's like, all right, all right. Fucking hate this spooky place anyway. Walks out the door. Monica's sitting up straight, silver necklaces adorn her flawless neck. So, thank you very much for coming. I appreciate that. My house is open to you if you ever need succor or sanctuary. Clan Giovanni has always been a, uh, a clan of neutrality. We intend to remain so here. You can consider me to be speaker for the family. Now, our mutual associate tells me that you have an information problem, and I am here to offer some solutions. At least I hope I can. 
That's extraordinarily generous of you. It is. Were I offering it for free? Of course. I will, of course, ask for favors in return, perhaps. Unless you could offer me something else. I'm all ears, but allow me to offer you what you need. And then you can tell me what you think is a worthy price. Hmm. How does that sound? Hmm? Uh, <laughs> I'm just looking at Jordan. <laughs> I'm looking at Silas like... Uh, mm, that seems a little open-ended. It does. This is a negotiation, dear. Come it back, is, I realize. Uh, I... <laughs> she looks at Jessica like... Hmm? We require some relatively straightforward information. I Fine. understand that in return that we could offer something relatively straightforward as well. A simple observation, a yes or a no, a point at a map. Hmm. All right. Does he speak for all of you? Well, I mean... I guess kind of. I mean, I'm not saying anything because I don't know what's going on. I don't even really know why we're here, if I'm being honest with you. And that gesture at a map, of course, does not reveal privileged information because the nature of the uh, operation we're looking at should, of course, be no one's concern but the person who is operating it. Ah, I understand. Do you of actually course. have the information we need? We were already, we already cut a deal with Chains. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm trying to take that deal. And he already owes me and was coming to me for the information so that he could offer it to you. Mm. Kind of a chain that way. <laughs> chain. Can I say something funny? Chain. Ah. Mm. <laughs> he really enjoys puns. <laughs> huh. It's good to know. So does Chains. Mm. Tedious though it may be. Hmm. Yeah, we can point it a map. All right. Do you have one? You still yeah, have it. One at you. Yeah, yeah. You made me learn how to use it on the way here. Pulls it out. She uncrumples it and like stands up and smooths it out as best she can. Um, so, uh, what can I provide? I show her the notebook. Hmm. That seems similar to some operations I've seen out Langford Way. Some operations. Drugs. Yes. You understand the island has a terrible meth problem, yes? Oh, yes. Yes. Ah. This was not meth. This was animal blood. Hmm. Well, if I were going to hide some sort of illicit operation, and it looked like a meth lab, I would probably hide it amongst other areas where there are meth labs. Convenient location. Hmm. Synergistic buildings, distribution networks already in place, were I to, to go do into so. a business such as this, were I thinking of it with a business mind. Hmm. Do you want help finding this exact location? I look at the, t the locals. I mean... This is already every, everything we already knew. Yeah, we don't know where this spot is exactly. We can't tell from the... Right. Mm. But, Joe, you think you can find it from that? I don't know who makes meth. Maybe somebody named Mary. Excuse me? Hmm? And then, as soon as you say Mary, Marge starts to sing again. Lo... Slow. Mary had a little lamb. 
Yeah, they keep singing that song. Okay. <laughs> Monica actually chuckles. One problem at a time, perhaps. Which one first? Why did that make you stop? Well, uh, the name Mary has a lot of different implications. I've met... Like what? Well, biblical, for oh. one, of course. Oh, yeah. The song, Mary Muffet. There are a lot of different Marys. Mm -hmm. I've met a couple of kindred named Mary. I was just wondering why you'd brought that name up, if there was somebody I should know. Stop, baby. And why are they singing? We don't know. It's very unsettling. Yeah, we can't make I think stop. somebody opened up their head with a whisk. Mm. Thin blood, yes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have heard tell that sometimes the embrace, depending on who embraced them, sometimes enables sight beyond sight mm -hmm. and prophetic visions. Seems like you've come across quite the resource. We need the exact location. I understand. I believe I could provide this. In exchange for what? Well, seeing as now you're looking for a meth lab or something equivalent to it to trace down, I assume you were tasked with stemming the tide of thin bloods that seem to be plaguing this island, or at least starting to? Damn, she's good. <laughs> oh, you have no idea, Mr. Tyndall. Mm. Yeah. She smiles at you. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're supposed to be doing. Mm. And look at you. Three cougars in one night. <laughs> <laughs> How does she know? <laughs> Damn. Tyndall stops thinking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no more thoughts. Head empty. <laughs> smooth brain. Play a smooth brain. It's a Death Star trench run. Well, as you're looking for a meth lab, and I would like to help, it seems... All interested parties are looking to solve this particular issue. How about I help you this time? Gratis. And you won't owe Chains anything because I will have taken the boon. Why? Why what? Why free? I want to help solve the problem, and if I help solve the problem, then it stands to reason, Mr. Tyndall, that both sides would owe me, wouldn't they? Simple economics. Yeah, I guess. And you mm. get off scot-free, correct? Mm-hmm. Non-zero sum game. Well, one of us stands to profit at least. Yes? Yes. yes. Yeah. Yes? Yes. All right. All right. She seems angry. Um... So, how comfortable are you with necromancy? What the? Not familiar with it, really. Hold up. Wait. Oh, you haven't heard the reputation? Oh, how refreshing. <laughs> Please. I would imagine one of the more experienced among you would like to regale our fresher-faced fiends some of the information about my clan. Zombies are real? Ghosts. Spirit. Ghosts are real? Yes. Oh, now he's going to get loud again. Ghosts can go through walls. When the body dies, the soul persists. Or some remnant of it. Huh. For a time. What, are you going to just like catch it and put it in a box? Or a watch. Um, or, a or a man. That explains the guy who let us in. Oh, you've been peeping. Oh, Chewings. That guy's a ghost? <laughs> no. No. Nah. One's bound into him, though. Necromancy is uh, its a fascinating diversion. Powerful. I, I'm also lost. I. This is not... Nothing I've had encounters with. Well, covers necromancy. Other than books hmm. 
I just want to go back to covering Mr. Johnson's school. But you were I'd also like remind you that we are also dead. I know. In manner of speaking. Yeah. Well. I deal with more of the realm of the spirit. I have cousins that deal with dead bodies. How's that going, by the way? How's what going? Your cousins. How do you know this? I I thought this was out of character. Oh, out of character? Yeah, I thought... No, we just roll with... How do you okay. know this? You have a baller occult score. Yeah, the... The Pyramid is not a naive organization. I've never heard such falsehood said with such conviction. Well, once the kind started handing out Darwin Awards... True. There was a pressure. That is true. Broken though it may be, I see that the pyramid still has sharp edges. Very good. So, essentially I'm going to send ghosts to go find this place for you. <laughs> Neat. Thank you for making it very simple. That's excellent. That's all. That's the straightest answer anybody's ever given me. This is great. Okay, thanks. Oh. You're welcome. Okay, well we're just sending ghosts to find the house. Well, very simple. I am. <laughs> Would you like to take one with you? No! As a guide? No, I don't think that will be necessary. Are they friendly? Is it like Slimer? I've seen similar. Not very friendly, though. No. Mm. Nor playful. Is it dangerous? Some. Huh. Mm. And you just capture them? In a manner of speaking, yes. I'm telling you these things because I want you to know how useful I can be to you. Because what I see are up-and-comers. <laughs> And I want to make sure that you understand that I can be a friend. Thank you. My impression was that you were withholding information for your own amusement. No. But this makes sense. I find my amusements elsewhere. She looks at Jessica just for a moment. So, we have an accord? Beautiful. I think so. Can I see it? No. No. Oh. I'm sorry. Okay. I figure I'd ask. Trade secrets, you understand. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I get it. Yeah. Yes. However, I will perform the ritual while you are here. It should not take me long. Do you have, aside from this picture, any other information or item that may resonate with what you seek? Only Marge. Oh, Marge was there. And and was it T Buck? T Buck. T -Buck? I see. <laughs> May I borrow Marge? I think you have to ask Jordan. Marge, are you okay being borrowed? Am I? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Come with me, little one. Let's see if we can see what you've seen. Okay. And they leave. Please, huh. avail yourselves of everything I have to offer. You are free to explore the house. Hmm. Anywhere that you can get into, you're welcome. Hmm. Oh, baby, puzzle house. And she, uh, <laughs> she heads like out of the atrium. You actually see her walk down the hall, and then there's a small door with a keypad that's under the stairs they kind of go up just past the kitchen she types something in stands in between marge and the keypad opens the door and it opens with a you can hear like a like hermetically sealed mm. she ushers marge in shuts the door behind her and you hear a little beep boop mm. as the system activates now you're in the big house by yourselves would oh. you like to just wait or do I want wanna... to go explore because I got I told that there was stuff of mine up. I want to see it. Yes. Uh, you find it actually fairly easily. It's just before like the mm. entrance to the other foyer, which seems to be this big sitting room with just a shit ton of books. Uh, one of those big globes. That's a whiskey thing. Opulent black 
leather back chairs and couches like this is this is a room to repose hmm. there's a man sitting in here it's not Giuseppe reading a book in a just a plain pinstripe suit olive skin he looks up hello oh uh, hi I didn't I didn't know anyone was over here no worries hi <laughs> Just looking around. Okay. Um, Did you want a book? What's your name? <laughs> oh, uh, sorry. Uh, yes, it's Jessica. Hello, Jessica. And you are? Ah. <laughs> um, well, Zaz. Zaz. Nice to meet you. He seems, uh, looks Middle Eastern. Mm. Well, this is awkward. Yep. <laughs> okay. Cool. Are you here to see Monica? I can try to find her oh, for you. Oh, no, we're... Uh, how did she, you get in? She she invited us. Oh, that's just, probably how you got in, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Did I hear the alarm? Is she downstairs? Uh, she she went off to do something for a minute, but we're, well, she's going to come back. Oh, you're doing business? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I see. Okay. Um. All right. I'm going to read. Oh, yeah, don't, don't let me disturb you. I'm just looking around. Okay. And he goes back to reading. Did she? Can I can I see what he's reading? Uh, yeah, it's actually a, a old book of uh, poetry. Hmm. Fourteenth century. Uh, what's your your craft is what? Uh, your wits craft dice pool. Three wits. Uh, two crafts. So five. Craft, what's your academics? One. One. Okay. With your trained eye, you can take half. This is a first edition. Of a 14th century book. Just on the shelf. Also, Zaz very much isn't breathing. Hmm. Mm. Oliver's kind of wandering around. Okay. Just. Yep. Just wandering about. Yeah. See just, what he sees. Just seeing what he sees. Okay. See him like, <laughs> Jessica's talking to Zaz. See yeah. him like touching something. He almost knocks over a vase. He's like, <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Uh. I'm getting a sense of the gardens, actually. Okay. The gardens. Um, what they're arranged for. Very nice. Yeah. As you look around, uh, are you going with... Yeah, I was going to wander in to mm -hmm. look at the plants. This place is the actual, like, area that you're in, the... the Solarium? Solarium kind of garden. Mm -hmm. You are to... There's obviously a, a very clear procession of, like, you go from the house through this area out to the back mm -hmm. and the back is this place is made for hosting and secret conversations mm -hmm. and people are to meet here this place was made with intention mm -hmm. and you remember this place was built three years ago so before the island opened yeah correct it was weird. Get an extra experience point. I didn't. I did notice you say that earlier. Hmm. So, oh. what made that possible? Well, money probably. Probably. Yeah. Because humans, yeah, get human back and forth just fine. Yeah. 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 Clearly. <laughs> I mean, as far as we know, only vampires couldn't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As far as we know. And this is very clearly like a Giovanni estate, like a purpose built. Like Monica didn't buy this a couple of months ago. It does not seem to be. So the Giovanni were comfortable pouring 15, 20 million dollars into the island. Easily. Yeah. Probably like more like a hundred million. Yeah. It's like, you know, land construction. Mm hmm. Just because vampire, so if the island's closed to vampires, was there never a vamp? There's no vampires allowed here officially. Nobody came back. Yeah, up until two years ago. Mm -hmm. So when the island was closed, you could still get here. Yeah, just nobody came back, and everybody you lost contact with anybody you sent here within two three days. Oh. Expeditions were sent quite frequently from Vancouver. And then one day somebody came back 
and said everything was fine. That's weird. Yeah. <laughs> so what made that possible? And if this place was built and funded before that, mm -hmm. it implies some things. Yeah, that they either knew or that they... Well, they're all ghosts. ...caused it. Yeah. Hmm. You've heard some stories about the Giovanni. Especially some of the things that have been happening with them recently. Mm -hmm. In the past couple of years. I'm trying to decide whether asking about the cousins was a bluff or not. Mm. Oh, from... From Silas. Oh! My cousins. Oh, how's that going? And then Monica being like, what do what, what? That's brilliant. Yeah. Do you want to make that? I, I kind case? of like doing that. That's lovely. That that was an opening that Silas saw and he was like, like, just going to straighten out this paper clip. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very academic debate move. Yeah. Very good. She, she overextended with a little bit of privileged information. Mm -hmm. This place is incredibly well put together. Mm -hmm. Are there any like birds or anything? No. It's all, it seems to be quiet. And... Mm -hmm. Quiet. Incredibly peaceful. Like it, it feels, it's that same vibe of walking through a graveyard. Mm hmm. I think I want to walk up the stairs and just kind of look out on the foyer. Mm. It's kind of taken in the whole space. From where you're standing, hands on the railing. Mm hmm. It was built like this so that someone could make an entrance. You can feel it. And the foyer is open enough to hold easily 30 comfortably. Mm hmm. And there were garages for extra vehicles, and Giuseppe offered to, you know, park the car. Yes. And there is that sort of fireplace in the middle as well yeah having fire in a kindred estate is definitely a sign of power mm -hmm. it's very clean quiet mm -hmm. what's joe putting together that this is a really big bid on the part of the giovannis to establish basically like a stronghold that they could court people with or run an entire organization from very nice take an experience point after your explorations and wanderings unless anybody else has anything I, specific they'd like to do i take a boutonniere from the garden excellent there are definitely sorts of plants you could do that from it could be almost anything you'd like lily lily white lily, lily. excellent do I do you put yeah. it in your lapel? Yep. Take a boot in here from the garden, put it in the lapel. Perfectly manicured. Mm-hmm. It's odd though, such a large estate only seems to have one resident. Attendant. Mm. Yeah. This is a Could I make another architecture role? Just to get a sense of like what is this communicating to me? I have a hunch. Okay. What's the hunch? I'll tell you if it's right. That the Giovanni are going to be using this as a seat of power and governance, basically. That they want others beholden to them. They want, like, every line is converging in the classical art sense mm -hmm. on uh, on their appearance and their entrance. And, like, all the focal lines are converging on them. That's what this place is communicating. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Yes. It's even built that way. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. That's, yeah. Yep. Yeah. You like both. a cathedral, it's supposed to impart a certain feeling when you enter it. Mm -hmm. And does this have a sense of like, what is the feeling they want me to feel when I come in here? Mm. Which is like, uh, in a cathedral, you want it to feel light and airy, mm -hmm. but grand, right? Yes. Where things open up a mm -hmm. bit and make you feel a bit of the sublime. Or does this house want to crash on me? I think this house wants you to feel like you're in a private gathering. Okay. Like you're special for being here, for being included. Okay. And like whoever owns the place is the focal point mm -hmm. or like the, the point the of The facilitator yeah. and yeah, the governing body, the governing, the ruler. 
Yes. The 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 liege lord. Mhm. That's very very good. Okay. Excellent observations. Does Oliver go to the kitchen? I was ju- you <laughs> Yeah, like wh- my fuck I was waiting patiently to be like Oliver looks for the kitchen. It's a huge kitchen. Hell there yeah, are brother. There are yeah. three fridges. Yeah. I just stand in front of one with the door open. Mm. Uh this one looks you kind of, you know, you're used to food and everything. You yeah. open one door. There's no dairy in this one. It's all meats. What about the other one? Some fish. No, well, the other one is all dairy. And there's a third. What's in the third one? Mixed. That's weird. Is halal. it weird? What? Could be halal. This is a kosher kitchen. Uh, or at least kosher-ish. Uh, okay. Yeah. It's ko- kosh- kosh-ish. Kosh-ish. Yeah. Keeping, keeping things separate yes. for reasons. Oh, okay. Yep. Oh, Oliver doesn't they like he doesn't even Oh yeah, Oliver no. doesn't know that. Yeah. Oliver just is like, that's weird. No. Yep. <laughs> it's like, like why no. is everything separate? Look at that. Uh. <laughs> and he starts Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, right. no, you find plates and things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The plates you so you go to find the plates and you yeah. actually see a lot of the plates have different symbols on them. One of them is all roses. Mm-hmm. The other one's all like weird roses like that. One's all roses. The other ones, uh, you've definitely seen them on Quinn's. Uh, mm, he's like, soon. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Huh? Collector's all plates. The, all of the plates. <laughs> 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 like NASCAR drivers, yeah. then all your favorite vampire clans. Clans. <laughs> Do you like Buzz Aldrin? <laughs> yeah. No, only like they're matching cups. Like <laughs> three pavements. Uh, as a matter of fact, they're wine glasses because all of the uh, plates yeah. have an indentation for a wine glass to sit in the middle. Like TV of trays. <laughs> yes, for lack of a better term, that is how Oliver would parse it. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yep, kindred TV trays. He is sick. All yep. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Oliver is gonna see that, and he's like, "Oh, neat. That's cool." Yeah, you must give him out. I don't know if there's like a club or some shit. But I'm gonna have to ask. Actually, that's actually Oliver makes a mental note. Yep, gotta ask. And then he piles yep. up some food and he's gonna munch down. Yeah, there's like you put together like a whole charcuterie plate. Hell yeah, yeah. brother. Yep. Even though Oliver doesn't know what a charcuterie plate but is, it's just no. you're feeling fancy. You know, <laughs> yeah. fancy cheese and crackers. Have, yeah, this is crackers. Have, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's all you can find. Like, yeah, you're looking geez. for the saltines, and it's like, what are stoned wheat things? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you do find like there's a bread box with like some fresh baked bread in there. Oh, it smells great. Yeah, 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 yeah. it's like, yeah. 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 Uh, you make put together like just. A really nice charcuterie plate. Okay. You know, you got some grapes. Because that's like, pretty much all there is. All there is like talking to himself. He's like, I yeah. remember, I can't poop, so I gotta Yeah. <laughs> gotta remember. So just for everybody's benefit, could you on your cheat sheet there, could yeah. you just read out uh eat food, the eat food merit that you have? Oh, I got you. No, I got it. I got okay. it. I got it. I got it. Still gonna eat the food. Remember, can't poop, throw up. Yeah, I can't poop. I'm a puke. Yeah. Yeah. So um Yeah. One of Oliver's merits is eat food. I can consume food without effort and might even enjoy it. Though it gives no nourishment and must be expelled before resting for the day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You don't know how you got away with three months of not. I didn't read everything. Power yeah. well no, the power of suggestion. <laughs> yeah. 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 So I can uh He didn't know any better. And his body obliged. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, you're just, you're yeah. mowing down. Mm-hmm. Sick. I think uh, Jessica ran into a person she wasn't expecting to, mm-hmm. but didn't want to look like she got chased out. So she just started looking at the books. Okay. Maybe even picked one up. Like, is this the same room where your art is displayed or is this just... Sorry. Yeah, this is... This <laughs> actually, you know what happens? <laughs> Oliver comes from the kitchen, like, back to the room where everyone else is, just, like, walking along. Like, like in where... Yeah, yeah like, I mean, where, 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 where I guess where Jessica is, like, where she's yeah. just walking and eating and looking and around. Zaz, yeah. <laughs> just waddling. Like, yep. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Zaz looks up and sees this <laughs> vision. Uh, <laughs> like walk in and immediately looks at you. Uh, I don't know him. 
and like hey jessica <laughs> very, very slowly shuts his book and like sets it down i don't want to know him oliver <laughs> zaz nice to meet you zaz very nice to meet you what a nice kitchen you got oh it's not mine i'm just staying with my cousin oh i like the collector's plates the... oh yes yeah, she had those made for hosting oh they were made special i thought everybody got them i was excited i thought maybe like because i'm a you know that maybe i would get <laughs> yeah, I would get <laughs> oliver oliver the word is kindred oh kindred Mind. yeah yeah zaz looks at well you. i'm trying to stop myself from saying the i i know and i'm trying to give the you the other terminology. word you know the dangerous one is he for real? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, he's he's new. Like, like three real months. Fresh. Real, real fresh. Like three months. <laughs> <laughs> Is this a thin blood? No. Oh. No. I know I can't poop. <laughs> I can do a straight face. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. I know, I know, I know, I know. I can't. I got to. But I still like doing it. Yeah, of course. I would too if yeah. I still could. Uh, everything tastes like ash to yeah, me. It's so good. It's good. I'm excellent. Thank you for flaunting your enjoyment Sorry. of that. Yeah, my bad. Okay, you know what? My bad. Didn't mean to. Not trying to rub it in your face. No, it's fine. No, this is fascinating. Please. Uh, <laughs> what? Sit, please. Yeah, I'll sit down. Please, can you drink? I think so. He points over to where the decanters and things are. Can I drink? It's still just like the same stuff, right? Like I don't know. Let's find out. Yeah, sure. <laughs> no, sure. Why not? Yeah. Yeah. You see him pick up like a three hundred dollar <laughs> bottle of whiskey. Goodness. Just drinks it out of the yeah, bottle. Just opens it. There's, yeah, a, just there's like, a decanter and two glasses. Yeah. And then he just picks it up and just like like. Burp, 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 burp. Oh man. Yeah. No, he says. You know what he does. Jeez, he almost drops it. Like, yeah. Why don't I hold your plate for you? Oh, yeah. He's trying to. He's got the plate. He's got the decanter. He's trying to uh, open it all. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, yes, thank you. Thank you. He immediately hands the plate over to you. To Jessica. He opens it. Yeah. It doesn't uh, burn like it used to. No. It tastes smoky, woodsy. I prefer Crown Royal. Of course you do. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna just give you your plate back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah this yours. He like tucks the tucks the the book under his arm. Walks over to Jessica. Where did you find him? <laughs> uh, got told to pick him up. I didn't find him. You're like Esquire Walt. Not in Sydney, but. <laughs> Well, this has been a fascinating night. Um, good night. Yeah, yeah. Have have, have a good evening. It was nice good meeting night. you. Thanks good, for the whiskey. Good night. You're very welcome. Uh, the bathrooms are. Any points to where all oh, the bathrooms yeah, are? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He ate food. Uh huh. Oh, you should have seen what happened the other night. I. What? Oh. He like turns around like, what? What? Did you say something? <laughs> no, no, no. All right. I, 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 and Monica like, like passes, you know, him and he walks out. And he's just like, I, uh, and she just puts a hand on his shoulder and she's like, I know. <laughs> <laughs> and walks in. Oh my God. Ah, good. You found the Hibiki first year. I don't know what that is. It's Japanese. Oh, okay. I like your plates. Thank you. You may keep that one. Really? Absolutely. Oh. Can I get one of each? Isn't there like a, it's like a set, right? Giuseppe will take your address and have them sent to your home. Awesome. Monica looks at you. Where's the rest? I'm, I, I'm not actually sure where the other two are, but they're less like this. She... I, I wander in at this point, I think. Yeah. Just uh, listening for voices. She cocks her head to the side and just like touches her necklace. Uh, where are you? Still the foyer, I in guess. Foyer? I don't know how close it is. Yeah. Oh, you're, it's pretty much right. Yeah. You're up there, like Zaz, 
walks by you and just doesn't introduce himself <laughs> at all and just wanders down the hall. All right. Like, just... Mm. Mm. So, yeah, voices all come down and yeah. just walk in. Yep. She's like, well, we might as well sit here. Uh, Giuseppe. And Giuseppe comes in. Uh, pack that plate up for Mr. Tyndall, please. And he takes it from you. Yeah. Thank you. Are you quite finished? Uh. Giuseppe leaves. Uh, Monica came back without Marge. Marge. Yeah. Wait. You can't fool me with food. Where's Marge? Marge attacked me. What? Uh, Marge attacked me. Popular cinema film Marge Attacks. God damn it. <laughs> uh, it hurts. <laughs> Chains must love you. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> I can see why. Anyway, uh, yes, Marge attacked me, and I, I had to restrain them. Are you all right? She looks at herself. I'm fine. Is Marge all right? Marge is unhappy at the moment. Uh, but uh, come see for yourself. Hmm? Okay. Can now, I go to the bathroom first? Please. Oh. Yeah, I gotta go remember to, hmm. you know. Uh -huh. Absolutely. Okay. I'll, yes. I'll be one second, so Oliver will go. Is he going to be doing that a lot? Oliver leaves oh. yeah. uh, to go expatriate. And Monica's like, yes, it's just down the hall and to the left. And then she turns around. <laughs> he won't stop. He's your responsibility, yes? Not that one. It's hers. <laughs> I'm dearly afraid something tragic is going to happen. In order for or something tragic would have to happen in order for Mr. Tyndall to. Mm. I'm hoping just habit. And spending some time will... Reinforcement? Yeah. Yes. Yes, because so often 55-year-old white men are able to change their mind. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Jessica laughed at that. But if anybody can do it, it's a bruja. Thank you. You're welcome. I have a great respect for your clan. A great respect. It's not that common. I'm not that common. So, I did learn a thing or two, though. But we'll wait for Mr. Tyndall to return, shall we? Yeah, I guess eventually. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> Oliver comes back. Huh. I would imagine it's grass. Nice bathroom. Well, not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Italian marble. <laughs> now Italian marble and disinfectant. Now Italian marble cheese. <laughs> you found the kitchen, I see. Yes. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> you need to buy some child locks. <laughs> yeah, one I of never, those grates. Yeah, one of the grates are one of those, you know, things you put on the doorknob, the plastic thing that you have to like pinch to like turn mm. the thing. In. Yeah, I like the idea of a vampire house with the kitty gate. So a 50-year-old man can't yeah. get to the Chinos. <laughs> I mean, you do have that flaw, like, technologically inept. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you can. Yeah, I can't. Like, like, How do I get this? <laughs> I can't figure this out. <laughs> this is one of those Trudeau things. <laughs> Uh, yeah. yeah. I Sorry, I can't help you. An air farce. Oh my god. <laughs> no, buddy. Uh, so, would you like to go into the creepy Giovanni's uh, basement? Yeah. basement? Yes, please. Yeah. Yeah. Medically yeah. Basement? Oh, if we're invited. Yep. Oh. You can't just leave Marge down there. You will be taking Marge with you, yes? Yes. yes. Yeah. Excellent. And you believe you might be able to get them to calm down a bit? Mm. Let's see what shape Marge is in first. Fair. Now, I've had some dealings with those of uh, 
Clan Mulcavian. Are you familiar? Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. I'm not. Explain. <laughs> they see too much sometimes and have trouble parsing it. The embrace and the power of their blood is one of insight and... Some people say madness because they don't care to take a moment to understand. Every one of them is different. One might even say troubled. One might say haunted. But it seems as though your Marge, as you say, suffers from a similar affliction. Well, not affliction. Way of thinking. They probably have trouble interacting with the world, and should you wish to help them along, may require a bit of patience. Doesn't mean that they're any less a vampire than any other, except for the power of their blood. But if they are saddled with prophetic vision, sometimes that's a lot to handle. So, is that clear? But, if they attack me again. Is that a... Sorry, this is going to be a dumb question. Is a Malkavian, like, a clan? Yes. Like... Clan Malkavian. He's... Correct. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. One of the bloodlines. And they see ghosts? Some of them can. Yeah. Man, that must suck. I have a different opinion. Mm. Oh, you're a Malkavian? No. No. Oh. Giovanni. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Mm. I don't know why I thought. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my bad. Yeah. <laughs> clan G- Monica Giovanni. Yeah. Clan Giovanni. Oh, the- I didn't know the clan. Was your last, your name? No. Last- no okay, it's- well. It's- <laughs> can you blame me? My last name's not Kaitif. No, no, no. It's understandable. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. It's a lot to take in. Yeah. I'm learning, and I'm not going to learn if I don't ask questions, and everyone gets upset when I ask questions. Do I seem upset? No. You're doing great, Olive. Let's go see Marge. All right. She puts herself between you and the keypad, types in a few numbers. What was the door? Wooden steps lead the way down. Green lights are what illuminate the stairs down. They look like emergency lights. She goes, please watch your step. I like to keep the lights low. Mm. She walks down. It will be the first door on your right. The lights are off. She walks down, seems to have absolutely no trouble in the very dim light. Opens one door. And it opens to pretty much a bare cell. Metal walls, metal ceiling. There's some chalk and charcoal remnants around and a drain in the middle of the floor. At the far wall, Marge is chained to the wall, manacled like an old medieval prisoner. They look alert and awake. They look right at you, Mm -hmm. Joe. Doing okay, Marge? They tried to get past my mind, and I ate them. Sorry, I should have asked more questions about what they were going to do with you. No. You didn't know. Nobody knows but me. Nobody knows but me. And she looks at Monica. I see your sin. I know where it's buried. I'm going to find it. And that is where we will end this session. Of not a drop to drink. Wait a second. <laughs> I want to know what happens. <laughs> and I'm sure everybody out there does as well. Oh, man. You'll have to tune in for episode four where we find out what happens. Thank you very, very much for joining us. Thank you for all of the players for being here. Again, anything that we do here at Loading Ready Run is brought to you by you and our Patreon. Patreon.com slash Loading Ready Run. 
Thank you very, very much. And if you enjoyed this and would like to listen to others, you can find them whatever your podcasts are served. Good night. Farewell. Stay safe. This is going to be weird every time. No, it's not. <laughs> You'll get used to it. Bye. I'm a vampire. Blah. Blah. <laughs> <laughs>